most people should check out Luke Peter's episode on how to build a spacecraft. Ah, here we go. This doesn't make sense. I don't understand how I ended up on this ship. I swear I put the right coordinates in. Yeah, James! Who said that? Now here, bonehead! Oh. You see me now? I'm the onboard computer you built into your ship. Who are you? You'll find out soon enough, jackass! So these robots are insane. And there's a cure for that, so obviously there's... Nope, not happening, Assface! Oh, come on, robot! Name's Al, moron! And I'm gonna be your worst nightmare! Oh, yeah, teleporting me everywhere. That's gonna hurt me, dude. Wait till I send you to the next place! <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of a rather British review. I am your host Michael Burhan and contrary to uh, opinions, I'm right here in the Nerd Genius house. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with me at all and I don't seem to be missing. I don't know where you heard that story from. So let's get on with the review shall we? as we talk about something that I have quite a familiarity with. Vampires and monsters. You know, stuff that kind of like me, it sucks. Ha! I made a joke there. So let's review the awesome game. A game that I've been playing on the Switch with my many Switch titles. Victor Vran Overkill Edition. Victor Vran is not necessarily a Castlevania-esque title. It actually has more association with the Diablo franchise, with its overhead visual and a rather simple story of defeating demons in order to save the world. The more you progress through the game, the more difficult it becomes with its hack and slash RPG gameplay. Well, this game is kind of weird in its sense, because when you look at games that involve vampires and monsters, you think of the Metroidvania mechanic. A game that's quite similar to Castlevania. No, we're not talking about those Symphony of the Night games or uh, the kind of God of War style quick time event games. No, 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 no. With this, it brings something new by combining your RPG elements with your amazing, amazing mechanics of that game, Diablo. You're able to use a variety of weapon types and can aid you in your quest. The mix and match in terms of weapon combinations aids a rather simplistic combat system. For grinders, this game has a lot of exploration with the different dungeons and cooperative gameplay. With most RPGs and varied difficulties, there is a lot more you can do. And if you are a Diablo fan, I believe Victor Vran is for you. As you can tell. It's a game that I have quite an affinity for, and for anybody who has a Nintendo Switch, or a PlayStation 4, or Xbox One, I would suggest that you download this game. It, the graphics are amazing, especially being a PC port, and also on top of that, you have such amazing styles of gameplay. It's really unique in terms of being a PC port that is ported rather marvellously to other devices, such as the copy I'm playing currently on the Switch. It plays rather flawlessly. Graphics are sublime, the audio is amazing, and the voice work, rather quaint, is extremely good as well. You have a story that's told in panels, run cutscenes rather as a story narrative especially as you have a disembodied voice that basically tells you what it needs you to do. If you want something like this, which is a treat, I would say pick this game up. It is a rather sublime piece. And as always, if you're a fan of this review show, you would know I would score my games between a 1 and a 5. And from 1 being the worst and 5 being the best, I give Victor Vran Overkill Edition a positive four out of five and that's it from me and as always this has been michael burhan for nerdgenius.com letting you know that i've got gameplay have you <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear.